Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to talk about a new hotfix patch notes that was just released with the patch now being live in the game. And there's a few things that are pretty cool, some nice little buffs and changes that are going to make the quality of life better. And also as well, a bit of a nerf to the Vorga strategic outpost, but also a little bit of a buff to them. So let's talk about it. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos. The more he sees of you, the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week. And also go join the Discord, it's linked below and help him build his amazing First Descendant army. Firstly, just a very quick one. Module slots have now been increased to 1,500. The limit used to be 1,000. I've never personally hit it, but I know that a lot of people were complaining about the fact that they would be full on modules and then anything that dropped in their farming routes, they would not be able to pick them up. So the fact that they've already jumped on this and changed it is pretty cool of them. I really, I really like the fact that they're willing to do something like that because a lot of games wouldn't bother. I personally would just rather see the module limit just removed in general or make it like 5,000 because I don't think it's going to be that you know harsh to do and I don't think it's going to affect the game that much so happy that they've increased it but you know could be better but very cool of them to jump on it straight away and fix it. Next up we have huge changes and buffs to the special operations so in here now all of these operations across the entire planet will be able to drop you void fragments and the ones that are neutralized void experiment in Vespers, Agna Desert and Hagios, they have more chance of dropping void fragments and that is pretty cool because the fragments prior to this were really frustrating to get you know you'd have to go to a planet and you'd have to run a void fragment mission but you need the right type of descendant with the right elements for instance this one over here is fire you'd have to run it for about five minutes and then you'd get the rewards of varying different amounts of void shards so this one gives you polymer and organic but there are four types altogether. so yeah, if you wanted all of them you'd have to run this one and running it on hard would only get you three of each so you'd have to go around and find the right void fragments you need for the right reactors and go and run and hopefully have the right descendant to be able to go and get those void shards now we have them in special operations which is fantastic it gives us a reason to play these now and also another great thing about these is that you can go in here now and the further you get through these now the more chance enemies drop mark for arrest this has always been the case and mark for arrest are basically an item that you can use which will give you gold now previously the normal mark for arrest would give you 10,000 gold now it's 10 times as much, you will get 100,000 gold per mark for arrest. And if you get the high value mark for arrest, which is way, way later into the areas, like if you can get up to like the 28 and stuff, you'll be able to get these more often. They will give you 1 million gold. So definitely worth now farming all of these special operations and, you know, just having a good old fun time. And hopefully there'll be a nice little gold farm that we can find. Now, the only other thing we need to talk about is the Volgus Strategic Outpost. One great change that they have made is that every time you finish one of these now, there will only be a one minute cooldown instead of five minutes. This is going to just be a dramatic change in quality of life and something that a lot of people have been asking for. So I'm very happy that they have listened and done that. One minute between each one is a viable amount of time to wait to not overload the servers with like loads of monsters constantly spawning but a one minute wait cooldown is great because you could just run around, grab a couple of munitions boxes and they'll be ready to go again when you are farming something like this. And the nerf they have made is spawning time between monster respawn has been increased and the reward amount has been adjusted. So we don't know what that means yet, but obviously we do it was coming with Valby Run specifically. So today I'm going to go test everything and there'll be a video about it later. But that is it. That's the um, the little bit of patch updates we have. There is a preview for next week's patch, which I'm going to make a video on also. So look out for that on the channel. That's it. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.